This painting of the Annunciation by the Italian Baroque artist Giulio Cesare Procaccini is in the collection of the Louvre. Procaccini's painting depicts a transformative moment in which the angel Gabriel arrives from heaven to inform the Virgin Mary that she has been chosen to be the vessel through whom God will be incarnate. A lustrous dove representing the Holy Spirit descends on Mary. For Procaccini, the Annunciation was a magnificent narrative. It inspired his full imagination in depicting the Virgin's elegance and Gabriel's radiance. Christ's incarnation as the invisible God taking on visible human form perfectly suited the 17th century Roman Catholic visual artist's own project of making the invisible visible. Fitting with the artistic objectives of the Catholic Reformation, this Annunciation is equally spectacular and direct. As Mary turns to greet her heavenly visitor, her robe billows to reveal a splendid range of colors and textures. The sacred expressions of Procaccini's figures are clearly comprehensible from their eloquent gestures, and he has eliminated superfluous embellishments. Only a basket of sewing on the floor, a cat in the left corner, and an open book on the table, presumably the Hebrew scriptures, create an earthly context for this heaven-oriented moment. Gabriel's pronouncement that Mary was highly favored by God would have had particular resonance for a presumed Roman Catholic viewer at a time when the question of the esteem in which the Virgin should be held was contested by Protestants. Procaccini visually affirmed a Roman Catholic veneration of Mary as a model of piety. One of this painting's more significant features is a detail that might not be immediately recognized. In many depictions of the Annunciation, such as this painting by the Venetian artist Paolo Veronese, Gabriel points in the direction of the descending dove. His gesture directs both Mary's attention and ours to the entrance of the Holy Spirit. But in Procaccini's Annunciation, Gabriel is not gesturing towards the dove. Gabriel points beyond the picture's visible boundaries. We can note that Procaccini had also created the same type of gesture in an earlier painting of the Annunciation. Gabriel's gesture, pointing beyond the canvas's material limits, is both conceptually and theologically meaningful. This is conceptually purposeful because it implies that the role of the visual arts is not to simply depict what is visible to the eye, but to open the viewer's imagination to what is beyond the visible. Procaccini's treatment of the Annunciation is theologically consequential because it directs the presumed 17th century Italian Catholic viewer's focus to the invisible divine source of the visible incarnation. Giulio Cesare Procaccini's Annunciation made this Advent subject dynamically real to its presumed pious viewer. Procaccini's painting visualizes more than we can see. 